Hey, a dork. Less than three.
Wah. Hello. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing today? Sorry, it's been about... Sorry, it's been like two weeks without streaming. Because uh, I think the last thing we played was 12 minutes and then had two really bad weeks back to back. So I just have not had the greatest time. I mentioned it in the Discord, but uh, yeah. Got hacked last week and uh, it's all... It's all mostly resolved now, but uh, just didn't feel like you know it's hard to really get into a stream after you've been hacked. I don't I don't know I don't know about the rest of you, but uh, getting hacked and having them spend you know a thousand of my a thousand of my dollars is not a it's not, it's not a good pre-stream setup, you know. It doesn't get me in the mood to play video games. But uh, today I am ready to play video games, so let's let's get back to Night in the Woods. Hope y'all been doing well the past couple of weeks. Oh, I gotta remember what I was even doing in this game. Uh, let's see if I can find out. Continue. Uh, continue. There we go. I know it got pretty. Serious, and our mom was talking about they're gonna have to. I don't know, was it sell the home? I don't know. They were just being very negative and kind of lashed out at us. What's this? Too much on my desk. Oh, okay. Black hole. Remember, we had a weird dream about that. Mm, buttons. Was it F? F. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, hey, man, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you. Really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you, like, want to say hello. Oh, hey, dude, sorry, couldn't hang last night. <laughs> Angus says he's sorry, too. Band practice told ya because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. <laughs> you got it. I don't know if I'm ready for another hand stabbing event. Also, maybe we can actually feed those birds? Rats? Was it rats? It was probably rats. I probably had to feed rats. Also, this is a safe. I don't remember. Wait. Was this a safe? Wait, what was down here? Yeah, it is a safe. Gotta be a way to open this safe. Probably ask our dad about it, I would guess. They might know. Oh, and it's gonna be our mom, because it's the morning, right? The dad is... Yep. Hey, hon. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't ya? Uh, that sounds more like our dad. Nope, it's our mom. Hey, hon. Hey, mom. You look really tired. And so do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Hi. Thanks, thanks for following, Key. How you doing today? Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, hon. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Doing 10 out of 10 is always... Hell yeah, that's good to hear. Me too. I said some stuff. Didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mom. About all of it. Hey, May. You okay? I'm fine. I guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did? Want to talk about it? Later. Uh, I'm still like putting it together. 
Can we talk about school? Also later. Ooh, it sounds like time's fast to get the hell out of here. Yeah, good to hear you're doing well, Key. Got any plans for the day? Editing. What you working on? If you don't mind me asking, that is. Add title text position inside. Oh god. Well, good luck. I used to do a lot of uh, video editing for YouTube, and I know it can be kind of a pain in the ass at times. Even if it is fun, it still can be a pain in the ass. Well, so today's my last day. Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will. I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear. What are we gonna do without you? Y'all wanna go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in. We can go on an outing. No one calls it that. And you'll see me whenever you go for groceries. Oh boy. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Well, we managed to get a pretzel for the rats this time. Uh, I just need to remember how to get to the rats. Uh, where were the rats? Was it... Was it this road? Uh... It might have been. Whoa. Someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. Key, I hear you on that one, my guy. I do like editing random things, too, though. Like a meme that I made of shocks the other day was hella holy. Is it one of the ones that they've uh, they've posted on their Twitter? So I've seen a couple of the things they've been posting on their Twitter. I don't think this is the house. I guess they've been uh, maybe they've been posting memes. I can't remember what they've been posting. I know they've just been posting some pictures. Okay. There we go. It's up this way. What? Ten months. Here's the ten more. Yo, dragon, thank you for the ten months, my guy. I hope you're doing well today. No, can I get, uh, uh, eh. That was a weird noise I made. Never mind it. Gotta go feed these rats who shouldn't be dead. God, I hope they're not dead. It's been a mixed bag if I'm on it. Aww. Well, hopefully whatever it is gets better. Nope, can see it, can't, can or can't see it on her Twitter. I can send it to you to look at, yeah. 
Sure. My little milk rats, time to eat. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, feel free to send it to me. Dun, 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 dun. Where's the other rat? Come here. Come here, you little freak. But yeah, dragon, I hope whatever's going on gets better. Wow, you're hungry. Very hungry. I guess I'm your mom now. I don't know if I'm ready to be a mom. Should have thought about that before you fed your rat babies, hmm? No, seriously, is this thing... Is this thing as clearly marked as something it is not? I'm coming back for you, Exidor. And we're gonna have a little chat. With my boot. Worst exit, easily. I can take a... In fact, I can take a peek at the link here. Let me... Let me check it. I can check it right now. Oh wait, it has sound. Okay, maybe I, maybe I won't. I didn't realize it had sound. I'll check it later. Not gonna lie, I actually DM Ken's the other day asking if they have any clips of him dancing on VRC or something like that to make that. Oh my... Oh wait, did they dance in it? Okay. Alright, let's watch it. I'm kind of going here at the bottom. <laughs> I see what you're talking about. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Can I go down? There we go. Okay. So I could go see... I'm easily amused. Hey, so am I. <laughs> no worries. Hey, bae. Uh, hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I, like, owe you one or whatever. It's fine, it was fun. My neck got, like, really weird and bad after. Oh, uh, how so? I'll tell you later, I guess. So like putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. Um, I think it's bun practice today. Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Well, shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's at the Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and, uh, and leaves work kind of whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. It feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still. Whoa. Alright, good talk. I wonder if Greg's boyfriend is in. Let's see, let's see. Hey, he is! Hey, you up for band practice in a bit? I guess, a weird night. Oh, so? I'll tell you about it later. Okay, never mind. That was the good talk. At least the other one was a conversation. <laughs> Greg, lay it on me. Hey, sup, dude? Ugh. Ugh? Uh, long night. Weird night. <laughs> What's up? I'll tell you, band practice. Yeah, cool. <laughs> what you up to? Uh, just saying hello. <laughs> hello! Okay. I guess I'll go look around to see if there's something else to do before we just continue the day. I feel like there's a lot of side things I'm just missing, but I also don't know what else to do. Hi. Hi? Hey, dude. Uh, hey, you? Working here now? Yep. Sucks. But it pays. Question, how do they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. Oh, okay.
Oh, help. Hello? Hey. What's up, kid? <laughs> you smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? <laughs> That's your aunt. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> weird like that makes you weird. Like that makes you half cop. <laughs> You'll never half catch me, half coppa. Ha ha ha! I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh. You go to Harfest? <laughs> nah, over it. Cool. I had kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. <laughs> it's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. <laughs> well, see you at band practice. Real talk, do you actually like watching us play? Yeah, I mean, you're not good, but <laughs> yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, uh, thrash crossover, uh, hip hop. I like Witch Dagger. They're kind of metal. Hell yeah, I like that Doom shit, right? A riveting character design. Oh, oh dragon. Da da dooga. It's totally. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home. <laughs> like a guy from the tracks. Okay. Uh, what? Okay. What? What did you do? It was like some night back in the summer, and out of the corner of my eye, I could kind of see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill, like 50 feet back. But like, you know, I didn't want to look right at him. Ugh. It took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like, I could see him standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Holy shit. What did you do? Well, after it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Uh, yeah, it was a weird bad time. Uh, I'm so upset right now. <laughs> I know, right? See ya! What are the cops doing up here? This is where we saw them steal some butt. Mm, what were you doing out here last night? <laughs> no. I saw someone kidnap someone. Like, a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here. Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. Alright, thank you, May. Ugh, I knew you were just gonna brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. Hell, I got six calls about kids out too late. It'd be a report. I'm reporting this, this right here. This thing that you're listening to is a report. May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing. Any theories, May? It could have gone around the fence. I don't know, May. This fence goes out along the parking lots, almost to the tracks. For you to be right behind them and then to be miraculously on the other side of the fence? <sighs> I was running around half the night, getting after teenage bullshit. And people scared of clotheslines and noises. I, 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 ah! Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost! Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry, we're, we're talking about a ghost now? It must have gone through the fence? Really, May? No, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine, we found a couple teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. Yeah, surely they couldn't just climb it. The cop always dies!
And they're not wrong. All right. So now we can go to band practice where I'm gonna have to try and once again play a song. Alrighty, Greg. I uh, am we gonna have to band practice? <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Alright, here we go. Wait, I'm not playing? Oh no, I am playing. Cool. Let's do it. Hey dude! You okay? You look tired. <laughs> I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door. And it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out onto the roof. Now I can like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby? Up to the roof? And pee off the side of the building? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> but what's not to stop random people from doing that too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Pumpkin head guy. Oh god, it's numbers. His shadow stretching from his feet into my heart is beating faster. He's the pumpkin guy with behind the mask like comes and goes away too fast for me to even ask. He's the pumpkin head guy. That seems way too energetic for someone who stayed up all night. This is kind of Greg. Whoa. Okay, this song... What the hell is even happening in this song? Am I being asked to play a bass solo right now? It's not even a thing! That did not go very well. <laughs> I tried. Pretty good! Yeah, that was okay. Not bad considering I don't know this song. So fast. You just pushed a button. I am so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. <laughs> awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy who I think was a ghost kidnapped some kid and also I think was in my head after while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something? Because this is scary. Well, it's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. You okay, dude? No! I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine, I'll go figure this out myself. Ah, oh, dude, don't be like that. Yeah, you got us. Aw, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's like some ghosty stuff happening around here. Like from a source we can trust. Such as... Does the newspaper have like a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library for books about it. No, they have the local paper on file. Going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there probably. Oh, wow, I didn't know they even had that. 
thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and, uh... Huh? Never mind, let's, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh... Sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. <laughs> Why does the gator sound super gay, hey, Sacro? Oh, not just like me. You can't say, you can't say that shit. You can't fucking say that shit to me. You fucking, you, you can't. But you did. I think I'm trying to make them goth, but I don't know if they sound too goth. Look, jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like, uh, one of the graffiti murals. Just someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. <sighs> I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Pumpkin head guy. Oh, also, I didn't bring it up before. Uh... I want to point out that Astig did a bunch of work for the channel while I was gone for a while. We have all new emotes! All of the emotes for the channel have been redone and a couple new ones have been added for people who do bit donations and things like that. And, uh, they also did anything for the points and there's a new, uh, there's a new reward in the, uh, the points thing. Got all new art for the points things, so Astic is uh is who to thank for all of that. So now instead of points, they're pillows. Oh, thank you for quenching the thirst. And giving an example of the pillow points. <sighs> I didn't. I know I mentioned it a while back, but yeah, the pillow thing is. Uh, his, his little friend, little little pet of the channel thing, named Kushi. And the new, uh, the new unlockable thing, you can make me do a voice for a while. I think, what did I put it on? Five minutes? Yeah, you can tell me a type of voice to do, and I have to do that voice for ten minutes. Thought that might be a fun thing for people to save points for. Hey, closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfish? Microfish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. You got that 13,000 points, dragon. Do you want to spend it all on that? That's the thing. Oh yeah. Beer Bay smokes everywhere. I, actually, I don't even know if it's a real cigarette. It might be fake. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ, born 1967. 50 years old. Let's see. Experience, mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50 is not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Just a constant glowing e cig. I think it might be. Ideally, it should be like guaranteed. It should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? Ouch. Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. What the fuck is Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. 
the school being five freaking years old. Uh, all right. So this was like a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Parody. It does look really hateable. It was like... You were kidnapped by a cult. And when they were like brainwashing you instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and a magic mask. That's not... Okay, whatever, go on. Instead of that, it was this effing pink nightmare. You were scared of it? No! I was bored to death! It was talking forever about, like, being kind to others. And, like, I don't know, helping an old neighbor do engine repair. That sounds... nice? Charity Barity helps old Mr. Plonko fix his hovercraft. Ugh, no, that's the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity Pink Knight Merity? Charity Barity, I just don't carity. <laughs> Alrighty then. Didn't know you felt so strongly, May. What are we here for? Did I miss something? So far, I've looked at an old man's resume. Looked at a picture of a bear. Is there another floor? Did we go to the wrong floor? Oh, yeah. Go go to the right floor. That wasn't even the right floor. <laughs> oh, wow. It's dusty up here. It's old up here. Well, sure is. Maybe our uh, ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it? Or something. While carrying something. Oh, right. Well, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy. Because he took someone. And he's like, somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, I mean, it was fine. Whatever. Alright, there she is. Cool. So... I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Uh, because you're my friend, you asshole? Oh. Ugh. Are we friends, Beautwears? Alright, fuck you. Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. <laughs> Are we friends, Beautwears? Alright, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Oh, jeez, man. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find a ghost. Sure. Hmm, this is interesting, but... Yeah, uh, not exactly about a ghost. I mean, I guess we'll read it. Tragedy at Stafford Mine. An explosion occurred at 6.20 a.m. at the Stafford Mine. All work has ceased while men attempt to rescue any survivors. So far, three men have been pulled out alive along with 20 dead. The explosion occurred 10 miles deep in the mine and only one group of men were able to escape. For the elevator's rope snapped and the next group of men plummeted to their death. So far, hopes of finding more survivors is low. The main path to the tunnel caved in due to the explosion and supervisors are still attempting to piece together exactly where everyone was during the accident. Uh, 
No ghosts to be found here. When you say ghost, it sounds like you don't believe me. Possum Massacre. Severe violence broke out at the Stafford Mine Strike today. Bosses arrived to attempt to renew talks and were taunted by some of the children present. Rocks were thrown in the National Guard and strike breakers opened fire on the crowd. After a few minutes, the smoke cleared and the gory scene revealed. Nine miners are dead with a dozen more injured. A young brother and sister were also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food to their father and uncle, who was on strike below when the shooting broke out. The photograph of the two children, aged seven and nine, who were shot in cold blood has circulated far outside of our little county. The heinous act led to a personal visit from the governor to the strike site to meet with strikers. Independent inspectors were also brought in and talks finally began. 45 days since the start of the strike. The bosses have agreed to comply to the current safety standards and honor the demands of the miners. Now this is last trolley will make its run September 4th. Okay. Twin club, it's nothing too important. All mothers of twins of any age are welcome. Interesting. We read that one. Spectral happenings, I think is the one we're looking for. Just looking here. Oh, local ghost Little Joe added again. Spectral happenings at Possum Jump. We can look at this one. Hey, look at this. Hmm, yeah. Looks like Possum Jump. Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out though. Go nuts. It's actually probably only a mile or so from Mrs. Miranda's house. Back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. Well, I'll try to avoid any basements. Good night, Sappler. Have a good one, dude. Sleep well. Our corpse husbands. Co-signed. There's another one I want to look at first, though. Where was it? This one. Yes, 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 what? Yes. Poogers. 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 AOP, thanks for the hundred biddies. How you doing today? Oh, look. Scoot, so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. <sighs> Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. Huh, <laughs> you know, that is actually pretty good. And that's he goes for me, see a fine for trespassing. I don't want a fine. Underground gases afflict many, oof. Ah, uh, you sleepy? I, I feel that. I'm also feeling very sleepy myself. Hey, hey, hey! Ghost spotted! Historical society? History that won't stay history. In a history place. History place? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this is when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident? Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. It used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something? Railroad, mine, steel mill, you know, something like that. An actual haunted house. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? No, it's looking more stuff. I just want to be sure. Deep Hollow County Morns. Strange but true, a tale of teeth. What? Oh, wow, this is gnarly and awesome. <laughs> oh my god. I guess we can read it. Strange but true, a tale of teeth. Bad bosses figure heavily into Possum Springs history, and this morbid tale of crime and secret societies is no exception. The story goes, in 1870, a local mine boss was skimming workers on their pay. A group of miners confronted him while he was in the act. He 
denied everything with many a slur and punched the miner's leader, Darnell Glace, in the face, causing him to lose his last remaining tooth. The miners knew how much Dar Darnie's tooth meant to him and they descended on the boss. A few held the boss down while others removed all of his teeth with pliers. Jesus. Teeth were passed out to the miners and a secret society was created with a vow to protect the workers' interests. The membership was based on owning one of these teeth and each was marked with a symbol of their choosing. These symbols were used around the coal patch to organize meetings and make announcements. The boss survived his attack but never named his attackers for fear of implicating himself. When he died a few years later, members dug up his grave to retrieve his skull. It was used in ceremonies performed before going out for retribution. All would gather around, place their teeth into the sockets, and later retrieve their tooth after the retribution was completed. Upon a member's death, their tooth would be passed to a new member. Teeth of members in jail would be left in their sockets until their fates were decided. After the strike of 1889, the society dwindled. Occasionally, a descendant of one of these men will find a tooth with strange markings in their home. Strange, but true. It's actually really interesting. So we've got some leads. Uh, can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. Hey, I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you around all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. Oops, sorry, hit my mic. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> I like these two a lot. There we go. I wanna go to the bottom floor. I wanna leave the library. I got nowhere to be. Actually, I've got places to be. Uh oh. What's happening? Him. What is. Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all. But she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Yo, Kyorik, how's it going? So thank you for the, the quench and thirst. Thank you all for coming to the second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Fuck me. Yes. Of course. Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones. I will start us off with one of my own. They don't actually pay her in string, right? Yes, May. They literally pay her in string. I was just joking. Right. Ahem. Letter to my worst student. To my worst student. The subject of my stories. I tell friends back home. When they ask about life out here in the sticks. It's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Fuck. Why did you key my car? I know. It was you. Brian. Thanks, everyone. Poor Miss Quelsey. At least she's blowing off some steam. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Do. We got two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Er, uh, half oaks. 
Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time. Born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know paths I've trudged. So it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one's shorter. This is called Ton of Frogs. Ton of Frogs swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, Amphibie? That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. That's all for tonight, everyone. See you in two weeks. All are welcome to join us at Donut Wolf. Donut Wolf! We're going home, May. Oh. Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so. Hey, <laughs> find anything about your ghost? Yeah. Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, Little Joe. I, uh, don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. <laughs> wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with, like, dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have, like, work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work and stuff. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up? You know, share custody of you and your ghost? <laughs> what places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. <laughs> is there an illegal one? Hmm. It sure is, the historical society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway. I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. Huh. I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in scouts. Perfect. Okay, so like I need to actually get home and do work. And this is going to be awesome. And also I'm scared to death. Hey, it's our dad. Oh yeah, that seems like that's going around. The erg. Yappers. So, uh, you and mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. Oh, I thought you two were getting along. We are. Just a bump. Oh, you two always two alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smart assness. Oh, I just hate to see you two on the outs again, you know. It'll be fine. We're cool. Might just head up to bed tonight. Oh, sounds good there, kid. Been a long couple days. Wanted to ask him about the safe, but I guess I'm not going to find out about the safe. I wonder if, hmm, I have, I have my suspicions of a thing I could do. I might have to talk to that person about my grandfather, or the solution could be in the game, but I don't know. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. Should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, Bay. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case. You are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight, though. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? Lol. 
<laughs> Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. It's real old, but then they did these big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like Ghost Central. How so? <laughs> You're a ghost hanging out in an old house. And then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would actually be scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map and it's a pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. You never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. Tips the hat. Born to lose country trash. I don't remember who that is. I don't think we've met them yet. Maybe we have. Let's see. So now we're looking for a ghost. Seems that we're back to just goofing around again. Uh-oh. I forgot. Another dream. So I've been wondering lately if I should get in on the Deltarune train. I played the first one myself a long time ago and recently uh, played most of it again for bread stream. Well, I was there while they played it, but I got to re-see a lot of it for bread stream. And I'm considering whether or not I should play through chapter two or not. Or if I should just kind of wait until the game is done. Not sure. I've also been wanting to pick up Psychonauts 2, but I haven't done that yet. So many games I want to play. It's so expensive. Hey, fish! These sections get a little repetitive looking for the, uh... I don't know. I don't know how to feel about these parts. Where I'm looking for the instruments. It's like, eh. They're not hard to get to. The section's mostly just time consuming. There we go, we got them all. Fish? No. How do I get back? Oh, here we go. There we go. Back up to the top. Oops. Sorry, there we go. 
Oh yeah. Oh. It's all coming together. Four months, baby Lee. Brad! Brad! Thank you for the four months of subscribing, Brad! Hope you're doing well. You got the silver cat? Look at you! Got silver boy! Gotta support the good cat. I'm playing a cat. I'm a cat playing a cat. <laughs> you made din- what'd you have for- or what'd you make for dinner? You know, last night inspired me. For longest night- for longest night I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Gross. Bacon and homemade fries. Yo, that sounds so good! Away message. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. I still don't know who that guy is. For our mom's in the kitchen. There she is. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, weird dream. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep? I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. Oh, what'd you do last night? Went to the library with Bay. Well, that sounds nice. It was. Weird. Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy, but you do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Oh, me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. Good day. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Dragon, I wish I could get 10 hours of sleep a night. Sounds nice. It is nice. I try not to do it, but it is, it is, it is nice when you can. trying to think here. I guess we're gonna get to pick who we go with today. So we either have the graveyard, the historical society, or the jump with uh, the one guy. Hey, bud. He thinks I spy a tunnel shark. Scary monster in the dark. Holy crap. I didn't really see it. Please don't listen. Bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Damn right we're gonna steal more fucking pretzels. Oh, don't move the hand. Hands off the keyboard. Yeah, okay. That's my. That's my. Oh, let go. It's my pretzel. And I will take it, thank you. Oh. Oh. Don't you do. do, 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 do it's my pretzel. I took it fair and square. Mine. You won't miss it. I'm getting the hang of this. I think last night, or not last night, I think last time I just kept screwing it up. And that's why I kept just not, I kept moving. You thief. I am a thief. Oh, hi down there. Ahoy there, May. <laughs> Is that Mr. Salvi? What are you doing in a boat? In the tunnel. In the late afternoon. <laughs> what are you doing home from school? You answer first. It's my side hustle. Salvy salvage. What's that? I'm a junk man, May. Are you not mowing lawns anymore? Oh no, I'm still doing the landscaping. But I'm also a purveyor of fine goods. Hey, Arrow. For the discerning antique enthusiast. Okay, side hustle, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You wanna come along? 
boat ride back into the tunnel. Gonna be a short trip today, but might be fun. Sure. Probably isn't smart. It's pretty safe. I just need a second pair of hands. Usually I take one of the kids over there. Hey teens, going on this boat now. Just saying, like if anyone should ask, I got on this boat with Mr. Salvi here. Okay, thanks. What was it? Okay, let's go. <laughs> and lots of folks from somewhere else drive past. Between Fort Lucian and Willow Grove. And they like going to antique shops out here. I think they think it's exclusive or something. I'm calling it now, this guy's the villain, probably. And that's the side hustle. Wow. Do they, uh, know it's just garbage? It's not garbage. Sorry. Hey, we're coming up on one now. You'll see. This is garbage. It's an island of garbage. Your garbage is my priceless antique. Once it's cleaned up a bit, look around and find something. Is this thing even safe to walk on? Oh yeah, years of sediment and rocks and junk. <laughs> you called it junk too. Got him. Oh wow, it's a thing. A sled. Really bad boat? Maybe you like sleeping in it? Tiny garbage hammock? Should I take this garbage bed? Oh yeah, love me a mystery garbage object. Huh, big axe. I want a big garbage axe? Instead of this other thing? It's so big and axy. Hmm. Do we want the axe or do we want the racket? Hmm. Hmm. Axe is cooler. But I'm curious about the, uh... Potential use, if there is one, for the racket. Hmm. Could also just be a red herring. We'll keep the axe. No, wait. No... I should take this garbage bed instead of the garbage axe. Take a garbage bed. Let's do it. Find anything good? This thing. This garbage thing. Oh, well, that's a... It's like a really bad boat paddle? Very useless shield for fighting? It's a snowshoe. Oh. Never seen one before, I guess. Ideally, you should have two of them. I can, like, hop. Snow hopper. Yeah, it's a snow hopper. <laughs> cool. And somehow he'd run over his own foot. No. With the mower. Uh. Yeah, he's got a limp now. But he still comes to work. Jeez. Gotta work. Ugh. Okay, so remember how I said I needed a second pair of hands? Oh, yeah, what, what was that about? So there's a little panel back where you are. Gonna need you to use it and move this light up here. Are we... Wait, why? We got bats down here. So? I don't like bats. <laughs> But bats like bugs, and bugs like light. So you're gonna shine that light all around them and get them to scatter. Looking for bugs. They mostly go away for a while when they scatter. Uh, oh, okay. Now get ready, we're coming on a place they like to cluster together. Okay, I, I got it. Here we go, up above me. Wow. Do most of them leave? I think so. Sure were a lot of them. Ugh, oh, I hate them. 
But bats are cute. They are not. Can I take a bat home? Ain't no bat getting on my boat. Sooner swim back than have a goddamn bat on my boat. Okay, okay, okay. No bats. No bats. All right, we're coming up on another island. Garbage ho! All right, what, what do we get here? You can look around. No, I'm gonna hang out in the boat. Of course I'm gonna look around. <laughs> You're sarcastic like your dad. Do you still talk to my dad? Oh yeah, I get my meats from him once a week. Last fall, us and some of the boys from the factory days went up to Stooge's old hunting camp. You get anything? Ed Grass got a six point buck. Oh, nice. All right, let's go. We got a schedule to keep. What do we take here? What what is what are we what are we what are we snagging? What's this? Oh my god. It's a coconut monkey. Like the one granddad brought back from Hawaii. Do I want this coconut friend? Nah. It's kind of stinky and soft. What the hell is this? Holy shit. Dracula teeth. These are so rad, I could totally be a Dracula. Of all the false teeth in the world, Dracula teeth are the best. Should I take these excellent Dracula teeth? Yes, take them. Why do Dracula say bleh? I'm gonna put these in and find out. Should probably clean them first. <laughs> find anything good? Dracula teeth. Oh wow, I remember these. They still make them. Now there's a market that never goes away. Now there's a market that never goes away. People will always want to be Draculas. I don't want to be a vampire. No choice. I'm going to put these in. Oh, God, please don't. They're disgusting. I'm going to bite you. All right, let's keep going now. Bleh. Oh, God, they did put them in their mouth. Gross. And that's how I saved longest night. <laughs> wow. Did you ever tell your kids? What? No, it spoiled the magic. Did they ever notice your next car? If they did, they never said nothing. Did the cops ever catch the guy? Oh no, he's still out there. But well, he ain't coming back anytime soon. Wow, okay, great story. Alright, we're coming up on another bat nest. Do bats have nests? Whatever, just get the light ready, shine it up there, and get rid of them. Aye, aye, sir. Here they come. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. Got them good. Woo. Thanks, kid. I'm 20. Huh. <laughs> Well, at my age, that's plenty kid enough. Rude. Coming up on another island. How many of these are down here? Oh, I ain't counted. <laughs> Seem to find new ones all the time. And lose old ones. Spooky. We're pretty far back now. It's always a bit spooky. Whoa, old trolley car over there. Yeah, we're getting close to where the flood really hit hardest. Uh, whoa. It's all coming together. Waber, I gifted a tier one sub to cure. Yo! Waber! Waber! Thank you for gifting the tier one sub to Kyorik. Can't imagine this place is still up and running. It's quite something. Had a sense of going somewhere. Yeah. Way back when they got these new trolley cars. They were designed by some company overseas. Big and fancy like France or something. But bought bad said name wrong. Oh, I'm sure they did. They're, uh, they're pretty. Yeah, they still got their charms. You gonna look around? I'm sure. What could I steal from here? What's this? Oh, huh. I wonder how old this is. It's pretty soggy. What sport even is this? 
It's a sports mystery. Worst kind of mystery. It's pretty, though. Do I want this thing? Nah. It's gross, and I don't care about sports anymore. Oh, nice! Football, our official religion around here. I could totally wear this. It's functional. I could totally wear this in the winter in case I slip on the ice. I could wear this if I was in a fight. Could probably stop a bullet even. I don't know. It smells inside though. Do I want this thing? Yeah! It's functional! Anything good? Football helmet. Oh, you sure you want that? Did I finally find something you want? Well, I mean, it's cool, you take it. No, it's alright. It's your boat, it's your garbage. You can have it. No, that's fine, May. No, I think you should have it. No, May, you take it. Take it. I don't want it. Neither do I. Take it. It's yours. God damn it, you take this fucking helmet. No. Uh, you go straight to hell and die. Are you okay? Yeah, so sorry I yelled. Me, me too. Are you happy with your helmet? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's functional. <laughs> God damn. Any more bats to get rid of? Nah, they don't come back this far to sleep. They fly around a good bit back here, though. Unless you clear them off before you get here. Where even are we? Almost to the far platform. Oh, wow, is that where we're going? Well, you got rid of most of the bats back there. So maybe we can make one last stop at the big one. The, the big one? I thank God I wasn't down here when the flood hit. The river jumped, right? Yeah, flood was bad enough, river just up and moved. Got something to do with the reservoir, too. I forget. I guess it was a while ago. Weird to think that rivers can move. Oh, they're always moving, kid. Twenty-year-old. They're just usually moving in one direction. No one's really prepared for when it stops doing what it's always been doing. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, here we are. The big one. The hell is the big? Is this actually gonna be big? Wow. This looks like something I dreamed, or something. It's familiar some ways. Back then, they thought the trolley would stay on the track. Come a big flood. But nah, they went right along with the water. Bobbing up and down. Crashing into big piles. Like this. Jeez. Can't fix something like this. What are you gonna do? Dam up the river? Dig this whole thing out. Nobody got that kind of money. Nobody got that kind of time. This is like visiting someplace beyond the grave. Like where you go when you die. Some folks did die down here. Oh, yeah. You gonna go look around? I have to say, not much back this far, usually. Most stuff washes in from side channels. Gets caught up back where we came from. Yeah, I think I'll still look around. Doo doo. Doo doo. Doo doo doo. Wonder what this used to lock up. The old lock. Pretty neat key. Someone bought this to keep something safe. Or secret. Do I want to take this? Hmm. It's just junk now. I got nothing to lock up, anyways. Hmm. There's a trumpet over here. Wow. Wonder if it still works. Should probably clean all the mud out of it first. Do I want to take this? Yeah! It's really pretty. It should have someone to appreciate it. Find anything good? Horn. There's like a pack horn, maybe. I'm gonna clean it out. Maybe play it. Or at least make it some make some noise. 
Good plan. It's real pretty. Shame to leave it down here. You rescued it. I'm a hero. I'll call the papers. Here we are. Wow. Ooh. Interesting. So that's it. That's the other mural. It's so... Yeah. Yeah. Basically the only thing back here that survived the flood. I just think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I, I guess. Forgotten maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. I wonder if in like 500 years, some archeologists will find it. I wonder what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years, no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out and then fall apart. You okay, May? Yeah. I'll be fine. I'm I'm just gonna look for a minute. Take your time. the teens were actually gonna be over here they're not even they're not even here they're not even there they're just not even there I mean I know I need to still go give the pretzel to the uh, to the rats can't I can't I can't fail my duty Then we going ghost hunting. Might do the, uh... Hmm. If I only get the choice of one, I'll probably do the, uh... The jump with, uh... The one guy. I, I forget his name for some reason. But I'll probably do that one. The graveyard could be fun too, though. Hmm. But I've done a lot with Bay. Greg is always a fun time. Uh, wait, what? Is this a different place? No, same place. Okay. Alright, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. There's three. Three rats this time. Come on. Come on, little guy. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Huh, there's more of you today. Need more food? Yes, you do. I will bring them more tomorrow. My rats will grow and become fat on pretzels. I will command them in the streets. None shall stop me. Do I want to do the graveyard or... Let's, let's do the graveyard. I've done so much with Bay, though. No, let's go talk to Greg. We also haven't done much with... Oh, it's a hard choice. It's a really hard choice. Oh, right. Oh, that's right. They said something about the roof here. Oh, I fell like a fool. But I forgot they said something about the roof here because they said it was open now. What would be... What would be the purpose? Oh, what the hell is a malt? 
Oh, you're missing out, May. Malts are good. Hmm. Did I affect that? No. What? Huh? What? I don't know what I just did, but it felt important. There's a lot of weird little side things happening in Night in the Woods that I don't quite understand. Not fully. Hella birds. Holy shit, that's a lot of birds. Um, hello? Hello. I'm May. Sadie. That's a voice for a Sadie. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Exploring. Same way I found it. Did you know? This is the only stage in town. Are you on stage a lot? Nope, not for a long time at least. It's like no one's played here in a long time. Yeah, been a few decades. Are you gonna, like, put on something here? Oh, I don't think anyone's gonna be putting anything on here. At least not anytime soon. No electricity, probably structurally unsound. Infested with rats and pigeons. Other than the electricity, that's like most of the town. <laughs> that it is, that it is. Oh, thank you, Brad, for quenching my thirst. Okay. Huh, pentagram. Okay, this was a cool little, uh, side thing. I mean, I know I've seen others of these windmill things. Should I like... Hmm. Hey! Hey, what are you doing outside my window? I don't know. Please go away. What you doing? Newspaper. What's in the news? Yam shortage this Thanksgiving. Eh, geez, we need the yams. We better get them now before they're gone. There's gonna be like, yam riots. Cause not enough yams, you know? Worse reasons. Okay. Now here's a man who loves statues. Don't get a lot of people getting statues made of themselves today. We're securing ourselves, okay? We don't need statues to make us feel better. Probably could have gotten in the diner, but is there a purpose too? There's a windmill on it! Oh god damn it. Alright. We can do this. I believe in us. Gotta make it on the diner. Okay, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, come on! Yeah, yeah, we did it! Jump, 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 jump! I'm really curious what that's delivering. Or to where? What's what and more where? I don't think there's anything over here. Cause I can't get up on a roof. Yeah. 
Hmm. Means there's probably some to the right. And I know how to get up on the roof to the right, so we could probably knock that out pretty quickly. What could these be for? I'm so curious. one of the windmills. I really don't know where to go once this is all said and done. Hey! Hello. I'm May. Hello, May. I'm Salim. You a busker? Are you busking? What's busking? I don't know. I think it's when you play outside and people give you money. Are you gonna give me money? No. Then I'm not busking. Cool. I just met someone else playing by themselves. Really? Yeah, across town in the abandoned building by the click clack. They had one of those big saxophones. Oh, I see what I'm gonna do. Hmm. I just thought it was an interesting coincidence. Small town. Oh, I think I'm gonna gather them all up to go to the, the, the concert building. Yeah. Drawing something? Yeah, I'm drawing a bad guy for a movie. Have you, like, filmed anything ever? Yeah, I made a little movie with my phone. And I pirated some movie programs. It's real bad. I played bass real bad. How long you been playing? I don't have to be real, real bad. Alright, I'm off. See ya. Later. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Also, Waver's the new stream boss. Let's go. How do I get up there? Oh, I see. Come back up here. Go to the left. Alright. It's all the windmills I know of. Again, still don't quite know what that's for. Nope. Hmm. You sometimes see other people up here. Is this not a thing anymore? Am I just old and out of touch? Whatever, that's awesome. I'm gonna put up a tent and camp up out here. Camp out, up here, blah, blah, words. We'll definitely roll off and die. <laughs> thought Roofcat, I uh, thought Roofcat is correct. Mallard forever, miracle rats. Ah. Oh, I thought I broke my legs. <laughs> I think there might be another area. Oh, this is the church. I don't really want to go to the church. There's, oh dear, there's the graveyard. Oh yeah, this guy. Hey bud. Getting kind of cold, huh? Yeah, nip in the air at night. I like fall when it gets cold. Me too. We're pretty out as well. Used to cry at fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they were so pretty. Hmm. I did that when my daughter was born. You have a daughter? Yup. Where is she? Sorry. It's fine. Ooh. Not a not a good subject. Hey 
Jen! Oh, hey, May Borowski? Yeah. What are you doing back here? Does Greg know you're back? Nah, just here for a day. Had to pick up some stuff from Greg's mom. I'm back to school tonight. Ah. Didn't you go to school? What are you doing here? Dropped out, kinda. Oh, sorry to hear that. Eh, whatever. What are you going for? I want to do fashion design. Is that a job you can get? Theoretically. <laughs> Answer, no. So, you still go crossbow hunting? Greg still does, kinda. Yeah, I still hunt rabbits and stuff. Nothing big. Don't get much chance at school. I was shooting at that tree over there. Then I noticed there was a dude sleeping behind it. So I just kind of stopped. Oh, yeah, that's Bruce. He's nice. Well, I'm just glad I didn't accidentally put a bolt in his face. Oh, yeah, that kind of be bad. Well, it was nice seeing you. You still see Greg sometimes? Oh, yeah, all the time. Well, tell that cousin of mine he needs to come see me out in Bright Harbor. Oh, uh, yeah, will do. He's not leaving here. Oh, I don't know. I think he should. Guy's got to spread his wings. Maybe his wings are just fine here. Nah. Greg's too much for this town. <laughs> no argument there. See ya. Take it easy. Jen. Greg's cousin, okay? There's just there's so many little side things you can do in a day. It's amazing how much extra like little side conversations there are. Little side mini quests, I guess. And that's assuming I even know all of the mini quests that are being thrown at us. I don't. I don't know how to open that safe. I really want to know how to open that safe in our house. Hmm. I think, I think to get, okay. I think to get the windmills in that area, you have to be on the, uh, the power line. So let's, let's try to do that better. Let me check our mail before... That didn't let me, okay. There we go. To the right, nope. To the next map! Power line walking! that one. You have the statue. There's so many of these little statues. I don't think I've ever read this plaque before. Arnold A. Applebaum. Father to all workers. A grandfather to their children. Great grandfather to those children's children. Keeps going like that for a while. Erected in 1910. Oh, I see an acorn up here. What's that about? Should I knock that down? <gasps> I should. No! Interesting. What if the scrolls ever steal undies? I hope not. <laughs> girl. I'm a legal adult. Oh, sorry. Who are you? Liz, I used to live here. Where? 
This building right here, before you were born. Why'd you move away? Went to school. Wandered off, I guess. Do you like it better where you live now? It's nice. Possum Springs is nice, too. I think it's alright. It's alright. Yeah, pretty alright. When I was a girl, about your... I'm 20. Height. <laughs> Used to lay awake at night. Worried that statue would come to life. Climbing my window. Oh, jeez, that's spooky. You never want someone hanging out around outside your window. And not magical evil statues, at least. Yeah, nothing evil or magic should get that close. I live in the attic and no one can get to my window. That's good. Not even vampires or warlocks or skeleton men. I'm glad we had this talk. <laughs> Me too. See ya. Okay, so I don't see anything to do with, uh... Whatchamacallits anymore. Ah, uh, the windmills, so I guess we can just continue. And I think we are gonna go to the bear guy. Oh, missing. Casey Hartley, I remember that. Awesome spring sale. Nothing else new there. So I said I could like to the park. You did indeed. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Yeah, I guess, huh? I've been hanging out with Greg so much. It'll be nice to actually get to know you a little better. I'm pretty great. <laughs> Fantastic. Ghost hunting with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. Pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. What counts? The ghost walking up and saying hello. And me saying, hey, I verified you were a dead person. <laughs> <clears throat> Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Or maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast. About ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff, brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May, and I saw ghosts, and this is Angus, who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus, and this is May. She's a crazy person. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once, full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. <laughs> That's good. Save what little brain cells you had left. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, that seems extreme. I don't know. Can't go to the woods to, like, socialize with the woods. I guess. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can, uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place up here. Oh, there's all kinds of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. <sighs> 
wait for Angus to catch up. Hey, yeah, buddy. Oh, oh. You all right? Yeah, I got asthma is all. I'm sorry, you gotta wait for me. Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I saved that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? This is like a lime kiln, I think. Limes? Limestone. You like do something with it in there. And it becomes this other thing. Oh. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So like, this was all underwater or something at one point. Whoa. But I know, right? Like right where we're standing, there were like ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and also awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. So speaking of ghosts, I've heard that Phasmophobia got a huge update recently. They're planning to do even more. Oh, pause the thought. I'm gonna take a break? I'm okay, I'm okay. No prob. So, so if this place was underwater, uh, why aren't there like ancient shark bones up here? I don't know, there might be, I guess. Not everything becomes a fossil. Why? I don't know, I'm not an expert on any of this. But there were definitely ancient sharks around here. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. To think like all that crazy stuff was going on here. There's always more weird stuff that happened. Find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. Oh, oh. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, 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 sorry. Uh. Seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime. Stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school? What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. I love dinosaurs. Who doesn't? Things were so scary and cool back then. We die in like five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. That makes most dangerous things less dangerous, good thing. Most things, at least. Alright, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Wow. Wow? My old scout camp. Just to come up here with my troop. Like a decade ago. The ancient sea master now monster now. Looks like it. Wow. Looks like some of the whirly note things came back. The what? Oh, uh, we made these little windmill things. I just put up an anonymous note in them. Attached this little spring controlled helicopter. The idea was that when the wind would pick up, the windmill would wind up the helicopter and the note would fly away. Looks like some of them blew back. That's an amazing coincidence. Oh no, that was the idea. Each year we'd read notes left from the year before. Let's see if I can find any more. I'm gonna hike up here, been a while. <laughs> Think there are some more? Spotted them. 
Oh cool, I'm gonna look. Hey. Okay. I don't know where they would be. Go oh, here we go. Got one! This is what they were talking about. Got one and got one and got one. Bada bing, bada boom. You got them all. Like it's pot at least. And I got the high vantage point. Let's read them, let's read them. Wait, should we though? We gotta leave them for the scouts. Oh, it's fine. Any ones up here wouldn't last the winter anyway. Okay, 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 let's read one. Okay, here's one. Hi, I'm not supposed to write my name. And that's fine, because I'm a scout. And that is the only name I need. Ah, oh, that's intense. It goes on. Dragon, wait, weren't those doohickeys released when you triggered the windmill things on top of the roofs? Oh, yeah! But May also said that the people used to spend a lot of time on that one particular roof, so... Apparently, just parkouring onto rooftops is a thing that people around here do when they're young. Scouts gave me more than a name. They gave me badges to show my worth. Jeez. I would kill for the scouts. That's it. Are you all like this? Kinda. Sometimes. No. Maybe. Okay, let's read this here. Read it! <laughs> oh dear. What? I am super, super gay. Ha ha ha! Nice! Angus, did you write this one? Jeez, I could have. I think my note was about like being strong and good. Gay as hell, apparently. I think my total gayness came through to the discerning reader. <laughs> All right, let's read this note. Ahem. I like shooting arrows. They are cool to shoot. In fact, I think we should shoot arrows instead of guns when we're in the army. It has a tactical advantage in that it is silent and also elegant. Huh. Yeah, I got nothing. Alright, this one got kind of torn up. Maybe a bird got it. Read the bird note. I am extremely unhappy and you're the only person who knows. Oh. Okay. Hmm. What? Not much changes. Could just as easily been our notes from 10 years ago. Yeah. There's like a timelessness about people. Some things just don't stop being, uh, what we are. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh my god. Late night. Well, that was a hike. It was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. Used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now. Just up ahead. Sorry, I gotta focus on some for a moment. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forget. They're involved in the Possum Massacre. That, like, labor strike thing. Where it was, like, Miners versus National Guard. Happened back in town, like, a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys. Some of the Miners. Didn't want them buried in town. Oh, huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. Yeah, it's just bones. Ancient shark bones? Yeah, see, nothing left to be scary. I'm gonna ruin the fun, Angus.
Wow, we're really up high. And really far out. I can't see town from here. It's south of us, fine. Whatever ridge that is. So what, are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see what happens. <laughs> see if anything happens. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, and they're really nice up here. Wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish. I can never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No, no, no! Remember that time we were all at that longest night bonfire and we spotted the constellations together? You told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh, wow. Maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations you tell me about them. Okay, then. Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed that one time. Ugh. Whichever. Okay, let's see. Now, question is, are they using real constellations or just random junk? Okay, these are these are custom. They're not real constellations. It's a Pope! He reads fire. Oh, this one's real. Or at least the dude is. Robello! There's a statue of him outside the church. Oh, we never went there. Did you oh uh da, 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 do you not uh did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals in longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? Eh, she pretends not to. cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. I don't remember his name. He lived, uh... Remember the stories about the forest god? Yeah. My granddad used to tell me Adina stories. Okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like shiny things. Was good at getting through the forest. Was really good at stealing. Oh, wow, yeah. I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Why Ass Cat? Well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body. Became immortal or something. Huh. Decent. D extremely decent. Hmm. Yes, quite. Brain is my brain is shutting down on me. It's a ghost! Okay, that's a bell. Well, never mind. In the middle is this eye. Looking at you. Okay, that's uh. I know this one a little from the prog rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. That makes sense. It's gonna be really loud. There's no sound in space. I mean, like, basically no sound, usually. That sounds really scary for some reason. Well, this means we're not gonna get rung to death by a bell. I mean, Angus is right.
It could be worse. It's a whale. It's got like the world on its back. Oh wow, that's kind of sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like that's really unfair. <laughs> yeah. This is legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something? I mean, whales are pretty big. What's the whale swimming in? Space? I guess it's dumb to get mad at ancient people. Kinda is, yeah. I like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know, it's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts. Or gods. Or psychic powers. Or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever... Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um, I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me, and my mom didn't either. Jesus Christ. And like, um, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Uh, my dad used to hit me a lot. Jesus Christ, Angus. Okay. And my mom was probably worse. She, like, wouldn't feed me. Which is why I really like cooking now. Ha ha. 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 Fuck. She'd, like, shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard. And all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know that at all. It's awful. She'd lock me in there for like a day at a time sometimes. Or overnight. So I'd like try to develop psychic powers. So I could like signal the neighbors. Or unlatch the door. Didn't work as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. Don't know why. After a while I like... Started feeling guilty too for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing. Like, being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry, I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question, can I go and kick all their asses? Like, I've got experience, I can fuck some shit up. Well, my mom's kinda old now. Oh yeah, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother, he's overseas in the army. And my dad left like 10 years ago. So who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug, like forever. Huh, <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like, yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry. I'm really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And if it gave me something to solve, something you could debunk or no, I don't know, it saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can like make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no ghosts or god. So like, I feel like if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in god or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, well, so like the constellations. I don't believe there's a whale out there, but I, uh, believe that the stars exist and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the spaces between stars. 
Like, we're pattern finders and we'll find patterns. We, like, really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to. So I believe in a universe that doesn't care. And people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God. But, like, God found them. Like, when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later, Greg did. Greg is your god. So, like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm no more than anyone else. Yup. Yep. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us. In the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. God. That's the ghost. I'm more worried about it being a living person. Standing in the woods, staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. <laughs> hey! I know what you did! May, no. I saw you! Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma. I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, 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 let's go. Deep breaths. In, out. All right. Roar! When the chips are down, this bear can move. Yeah. Oh my god! So can that thing, though. Holy shit. Whew. You okay, big guy? I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Or, uh, some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up. Uh, it wasn't too far from there. Ugh. Why does nobody believe me? Hey, it's like every other explanation is more likely than ghost. Okay, fine, whatever. Sorry. Grouchy. Headache. That was scary. It's cool. It was. We made it home not dead. All right. Thought Angus is psychic, but his hat blocks it. Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, you. You okay? Yeah, we're night. Oh, you look really worn out. Yeah. Oh, geez, I'm sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. Oh, gosh, I used to be, but that was because of my job, don't you know? No job don't require much like that. Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. <laughs> Will do. I love how many conversations just end with two people staring at each other awkwardly. Dad, you're over 30. Your bending has been taken away. You're not wrong. <gasps> Our stuff! Our stuff's here! Our helmet, our teeth, and our snow sh 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 Oh, and oh, and our ooh, and our uh, whatever thing. I can't remember what it was called. Hey B, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Went to the park with Angus. How'd it go? 
It was fun, until it was scary. Well, how so? We totally saw the ghost in the woods. Really? Angus saw this? He did. Wow, okay, hold on. I'm texting Angus. Why? Angus is an annoyingly strident atheist. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Can't you just take my word for it? Hold on. He said it was probably a hunter. Ugh. Okay, whatever, fine. Sorry, for what it's worth, I don't not believe you. Thanks. You have a good time otherwise? Yeah, I learned a lot about Angus. He's had kind of a rough life? Oh yeah, he definitely has. Wait, how do you know about this? Uh, because Angus and I have been friends since like 8th grade? Oh yeah, I forgot. You're not like the glue holding all of us together. Angus kind of is. He's the common denominator. Me and Greg don't hang out. Hmm. Angus is good. He is. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Talk to you later. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, yo, yo, yo! Hey, hey! Did you and Angus have a good time? Yeah, it was great until it was super scary. <laughs> Damn, she didn't hold back any fun. She really didn't, but at least she's straightforward. I can appreciate it. You guys saw a weird creepo, huh? Yeah, it was the effing ghost again. Hold on. Angus is thinking it was a hunter. Buck season starts in like two days. Oh, what the hell? Put him on. K -k 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 -k. Hey, man. This is Angus. Dude, you saw him with your own eyes. I mean, we saw a guy who was being weird. But there are folks that live up there in the park. And there are hunting camps and stuff. That was most likely a guy out hunting buck early. Dude, I like felt it. I know. I don't know what to say about that. I think all three of us were spooked. Okay, fine. Thanks for going and being brave and stuff. Good time. I had fun. Put Greg back on. Hey, 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 dude. I'm an artiste. Are you doing art just now? It sure was. All right, off to bed. Night, dude. Hey, mate, this is Greg. <laughs> you and Angus are talking on my computer. Oh, hey, I'm Angus. I'm so smart, and I have a great ass. Blah, blah, blah. You two are talking a lot. Hold on. I'm drawing him a dirty message in the paint program. It's a dick with his hat on it and a smiley face. I don't know what it even means. Looks like you two are wrapping up. Peace out, yo. Hey, mate. Or, hey, mate, it's Angus. You and Greg are talking. I'm gonna test that this picture is kind of baffling. Good night. <laughs> All right. Good talk. Good talk. Bedtime? Yes. Ooh. Okay. This dream's a little more creepy. Explosions in the background. If this turns out to be one big hallucination of the headache medicine, I'm going to lose it. I don't think so. But maybe. Hello? Can you talk? Yes! For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you God? No. Oh. So. Seconds ago, a little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. 
And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me. And I am not this God. And this God is nowhere. Well, you can't see God. You are seeing what you are wishing, little creature. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are, what are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? They were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands, and they are climbing into the air, and now they are making a tear, and now they are gone, and now you are here. A tear? With their hooves, their hooves, they are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air, and they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. They're asking me about God. My head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Alright. Showing me fleas? Ah! Oh god, oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you, and you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Closing the sky? Yes. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars, I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there was nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now there is only the whole. So does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms, and your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this even going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again, and the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. What the fuck? <laughs> what? I don't even know anything I just said with my mouth. That was nothing. That was gibberish and garbage. Alright, but as we get up for this day, I think I, even though it's been a couple weeks, I think I am going to call it for this stream. So I'm feeling very, very tired. It's been exhausting lately and I haven't been getting good sleep. So I think I'm going to call stream and just kind of try and relax for the evening. But... Eh, let's get some let's get some music going. Let's swap to this soundtrack. Eh, let's swap to No, let's swap to this one. No wait, no, this is probably gonna get That'll probably get uh let's do this one. That'll do. But yeah. Thank you all for joining me for the stream today. We learned a little bit more about what's going on at night in the woods and also got more questions. We still don't know who the man is, but we know he exists. 
He wasn't just in our head. So maybe next time we'll actually figure out what's going on with him and also make more rat babies. That's a little too loud. But yeah. Maybe, the, maybe there's other side quest stuff I haven't done too. But let's see if we can find somebody to raid. Okay, my... Okay, that didn't help me. There we go, that will help more. Alright, who is live right now? Do to do, do. We have Ryx is live. I could always, I could always, I could always hit up the boy Ryx. But I've hit them up a lot lately. Oh, I know who we could hit up. You let me see if this still works. Yeah, it works. All right. But yeah, I'm gonna send y'all over to a, a streamer named Quent. They're a really cool, dude. A good friend of a friend of mine, they're a good friend of Ken's, who has been on the stream many times, and I would assume all of you know, to some degree. Hey, no problem, Kyurara. Thank you for watching. Thank you all for watching. But yeah, go keep them company. I'm not quite sure what they're doing. I could probably take a peek real quick. Uh, let me see. It's Quent. Just to see what they're up to. Uh, they are... Da -da 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 -da. Uh, they are live, right? It says they're offline. The Did they, they just go offline? Wait, wait, hang on a second. I'm not gaming for me. Did Quint literally just go offline? Transcend humanity. Don't tell me that. With Omen. Oh my god, Quint literally just went offline just the second I was here. about to raid them. Oh. Never mind. Okay, new plan. <laughs> You're gonna go back to the old plan. We're gonna raid Ryx. <laughs> Oops. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and uh, I will see you all again next week when we continue more Night in the Woods. But until then everybody, take good care and hope, hope, out, hope the week goes well for y'all. Later.